Thank you all for coming out and supporting live comedy. So, um, I have something uh, kind of embarrassing. I was uh, recently diagnosed with depression. And, um, yeah, thank you. Now, um, now, I admit, when I was first diagnosed with depression, I felt a bit embarrassed, but my therapist told me not to be. He said that creative, intelligent, talented people often suffer from depression. And people like you as well. <laughs> <Ba -dum -bum. laughs> so, um, when I first started doing stand-up comedy, someone said, Michael, you're going to need two sets of jokes. One for the white audience, one for the black. I said, that is ridiculous. Funny is funny. <laughs> but I kind of learned my lesson. I performed at this place called Laugh Out Loud. That's the Def Jam audience. That's just code word for black. <laughs> I did 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and not one single laugh. I was like, damn, that's my best Pottery Barn material. <laughs> It kills that Epicure. Anybody watch, uh, anybody ever seen this show called Celebrity Ghost Stories? Yes. For those who cannot tell by the title, it's celebrities who tell their ghost stories. And uh, they were talking to Rebecca de Mornay, and she was saying that when she was a little girl, she got really sick. She almost died. So while she was laying in the hospital bed, she sees this bright light at the window. She walks over towards the light, sees these two little girls playing outside. She feels better. You know, she pulls through. And many years later, when she buys her first house, she opens the door to her house. Who should be running through the house but those two little girls? That same day at dinner with a friend, while sitting in the restaurant, who should appear in the restaurant but those two little girls? And not long after that, she gave birth to two little girls. She had realized that the girls she had been seeing all her life were her daughters. She had saw them before they were born. Now this fascinated me not from a ghost standpoint, but a scientific standpoint. If it's possible to see something before it happened, is it possible to travel your physical body from one point in time to the next? And just when I was about to break out my calculator, I realized something. I don't have enough money to pay my bills. <laughs> Why am I trying to figure out time travel? <laughs> Bills, then time travel. <laughs> Prioritize. And that's the lesson for the evening. Have a great night, guys. Thanks.